price is risen. Something I've been so astounded by as a mother of a toddler is the intense emotional ups and downs just one small human being can possess. Every day's a roller coaster, never quite sure what will be the thing to set him off. But whatever happens, it's always an intense explosion of feeling, but then just as quickly as it starts, he's over it and on to the next thing. Well, that can be frustrating as a parent to sit through without getting, well, frustrated. It's also been really eye-opening, actually, for me as an adult. What if I just allowed my emotions to flow through me like that? Obviously, as a rational adult, I can't throw myself on the ground every time something upsets me, but I also think that we've been programmed to feel that we need to keep it together all the time. And sometimes we just need to let it out. Oftentimes for me, I don't even realize that the stress and anxiety has been building until something happens that releases it. And oftentimes, for me, that's music. Music is an incredible gift from God, one that humanity has been utilizing as a unique form of expression since the beginning of time. Music has the ability to profoundly affect a person by capturing the essence of their heart in ways that you could never fully express in words. It is a way to unite body, mind, and soul. Countless research has found that listening to music can reduce anxiety, lower blood pressure and pain, as well as improve sleep quality, your mood, mental alertness, and memory. Just the other day, I was sitting on the couch listening to some symphony, and I don't even remember what one it was now, but at some point when the music swelled into a beautiful crescendo, tears just started rolling down my face. And at first I was like, wait, why am I crying? <laughs> but it felt really good. Like all the stress and worry about everything going on right now in this world had just bubbled over to the surface and was making its way out. So I let myself tear up and I just sat there. When it was over, I felt a lot better. Music of all types can induce these kinds of feelings, but I personally think that dramatic instrumental music can do this even more so. A symphony, the soundtrack to a dramatic movie, sometimes it just feels amazing to sit still and let something beautiful just wash right over you. In Psalm 105, it says, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the lute and the harp, praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and flutes, praise him with loud cymbals, praise him with clashing cymbals, they basically name every instrument in an orchestra. Okay, maybe not all of them, but you know, you get the point. And oftentimes when I'm listening to instrumental music, I feel so overwhelmed in gratitude that God has given musicians and composers the ability and the talent to create these grand masterpieces so that people all over the world, no matter what language they speak, no matter even if they even read or write, they can experience the joy that music brings. As a musician, I'm so thankful that the arts are truly blessed by God and that music is such an integral and important part of our lives for worship in the church and at home, but also for our entertainment and pleasure. I would encourage you to sit on the couch with your family members, listen to some piece of beautiful music in silence, and then just talk about the different feelings that you felt while listening. You might be surprised what comes up. Mm -hmm.